Hello YouTube, welcome back over to Gaming House, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video talking about the my impressions from the Rainbow Six Siege beta, or, you know, demo, because I don't think if you have a beta that's five days from the release of your game, it counts as a beta anymore, it's more of a demo, especially if you lock off characters that, you know, are in your game, in a beta that you're supposed to test for balance of other characters. But I digress. So, I would be lying if I said I didn't have fun playing the beta. I rolled with a squad, which if you play with friends, it'll be a lot more enjoyable, of course, than playing solo because you need to communicate in the game. If you're not communicating, you're at a severe disadvantage. But I had loads of fun with my friends playing both the Terrace Town, which is what we primarily played together because we we're all fans of the Rainbow Six series and we all enjoyed Terra Stunt together. And I played a little bit of the multiplayer, which anyone that knows my videos, I'm not a huge multiplayer favorable person. I will play multiplayer. I will usually tear house in multiplayer too. But it's not really my cup of tea of the day. And I I enjoyed it. The dynamics and everything else that are in the game made the game itself enjoyable. The fact that if you're stuck taking fire from a doorway, you can sit there, go into the other room and breach the wall to get into the other room to shoot the people that are fucking locking you down. It's great. It's fun. I like that. Now there are various things I don't like that'll probably get repeated because I am getting the game now. So some stuff might get repeated again when you see the review for this game come out. Which is I don't like for terrorist hunt. You can only play as attacking attacking operators, not uh, no option for defender defending operators, which limits the amount of play operators to play as, as well as weapons, as some weapons are only for defenders, which sucks balls, because even if you select recruit, which has option, which has all the attacking weapon options, or if you're recruit for defender, you get all the defender weapon options, you're now cut cutting your arsenal by like a little, some of your weapon. I can't talk right now. I really can't fucking talk right now. <laughs> But they're cutting off some of your, your armament options in the game when they do that. And I'm not a fan of that. Uh, as of course, I'm a fan of like things that were in Vegas that aren't in this. Uh, I thought I was going to hate not having a wall cover anymore. Which I kind of still miss it. But at the same time, the gameplay and everything still works. So it's not a total loss there. But I'll do it for the impressions. I found it surprisingly enjoyable. Uh, I know I bashed it in Rainbow Six. I bashed Rainbow Six Siege of few of my videos already and the fact that I caved and I'm going to get it anyway like some sort of sellout. Keep an eye out for the review when that comes out probably a few Terrace Hunt matches probably a few Terrace Hunt videos because back when I started my channel I believe those were the first few videos I did was actually like the Terrace Hunt walkthroughs for Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2. So keep an eye out for that. There's Twitter down below in the description if you want to follow for more details whenever I actually update my Twitter. As always, you're welcome to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. And as always, you're welcome to come back over to Gaming House for more gameplay and commentary.